Randolph gets an opportunity here, but it's Adam Goley, James Bowles with the stop. So, goaltending is pretty unique. Uh, it's it's very different than any any other sport or you know position in any other sport. Because uh, even though it's a team sport, it's really individual. And because it's individual, it's a lot more mental and physical. A lot of people say that goaltending is about 90% mental and about 10% physical, and I totally agree with that. Because you kind of have to fight yourself and surprise yourself. You kind of have to make those saves when you're a goalie that even you just have absolutely no idea how you got there. It's it's more just a lot. It's a lot more fun that way, in my opinion. I started playing hockey when I was around seven, and I started as a player for uh, my first couple of years because, you know, that's just kind of where you start. That's how you learn to skate and everything. Uh, but I realized after a while, not after a while, more like a season or two, that I was a lot slower. My hands were a lot clumsier. My uh, skating was a lot worse than everyone else's on the ice. So from that, I kind of decided to be a goalie. And I realized very quickly that it's actually a lot more fun being goalie because in my eyes as a kid, I got to do less work and have more fun. You know, the players had to go and skate and then they got to shoot, which is the fun stuff. I got to just get shot on. I didn't have to deal with all the skating and all that other stuff. So I've always been played goalie, basically. Right. I would definitely say my family is a source of pride for me. My dad, you know, has raised three goalies. I'm the third, and then my little sister below me, who's a freshman, also plays goalie. So, you know, it really means a lot to my family to keep playing goalie, especially because I've got this legacy, basically, to live on and almost one up. It's always fun to brag to my brothers about what kind of win I've had, because I know that they haven't had that for the most. By far, what I'll remember the most about this season is the team. Uh, unlike years past, our teammates this year have been extremely close. We've hung out almost every night of the season. Uh, you'll be hard pressed to not find a couple hockey players hanging out together on a weekday or a weekend. Because this season, it, the team has just really come together as a unit. And we have a lot more fun. We have a lot more, you know, out of hockey basically activities that make the on ice time even more fun. I plan to continue playing at least a little bit in college. I'll probably be part of the club team for the University of New Haven, uh, which is where I'm going. But I haven't really, you know, made a final decision. I'm definitely gonna play like, men's league when I'm older, but once high school's done, my main competitive career is most likely gonna end, unfortunately. So the process to become a firefighter was actually really easy. Uh, when I was 16, I knew for a fact that I wanted to be part of my town's fire department. And so I literally just went on the website for Chatham Township. I found their junior program and I uh, got an email and I emailed the uh, training officer. And then from there, he contacted me. Uh, and then from there, you know, my transition into becoming a firefighter really has been quite smooth. Uh, everyone around the firehouse is really willing to help out and, you know, let me learn. So whenever I have a question, it's really nice and easy to get an answer. So right now, I'm currently going through the fire academy in uh, the Mars County Fire, or the Mars County Public Safety Academy is a little bit past the hockey rink actually. So I go by it every time, and I'm doing classes on Tuesdays and Saturdays so that the state can certify me uh, as a firefighter one, uh, you know, certified firefighter. And basically, what firefighter one is is it's the lowest requirement you can obtain to become a state certified firefighter. Uh, and so with that brings the ability to enter buildings during a fire, during dangerous scenarios. When you don't have that certification, you pretty much have to stay on the outside and make sure that you don't you know, get yourself hurt. With uh, the fire academy coming through right now, or what I'm doing right now, it's much more uh, complicated to kind of get everything scheduled. It used to be much simpler when I just had my regular fire department drills on Friday. Uh, but now with Fire Academy, I have some busy days. Uh, some days I'll go right from school to hockey and then right from hockey to my house to eat dinner where right after dinner I leave for the Fire Academy for three hours to get lectured. And then uh, I'll come home at like 11. So I'll only spend you know, a little bit amount of time of the day in my house. 